Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology once again and we are here with the transit of Saturn in the sign of Aquarius. As you know, Saturn will be transiting in the sign of Aquarius by end of April this year and will remain uh, up till March 2025. As you know, Saturn stays in a sign for two and a half to three years. So let's discuss what this transit will bring in for each and every ascendant and uh, how will this transit uh, figure out for people in general and as i always say for specifics it will always depend on your own horoscope and which mahadasha which antardasha are you running uh, during this period of time okay and as usual if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a personalized consultation from me regarding this transit, then please go to my website down in the description section, exoticastrology.in. And yes, God is there with you always. Just look to him and you will find him. And I've also made the transit videos for Rahu Ketu and uh, Jupiter. So you will also find them down in the comment section in case you have not watched it. All right. So before we go into a uh, specific ascendance uh, i would like to address this question um, very frequently people ask me that should we see these transits from the moon sign which is the rashi or should we see it from the ascendant which is the lagna right so i've always answered it and i'm answering yet again uh, here uh, we should see the transits from the ascendant because the transit um, gives uh, the result based on the ascendant because the ascendant decides which house this transit will uh, occur right so if you are a aries ascendant for example then this transit will happen uh, in your 11th house because aquarius is in your 11th house uh, if you are aries ascendant right and the ascendant deals uh, with the physical external reality which we can see which is like you know tangible changes in our life so therefore you can also see the transit from your moon sign which is technically uh, traditionally known as rashi uh, but that will only uh, give you um, an idea of how will you view this transit from the level of your mind okay uh, but if you really want to know what exactly what kind of changes will this transit bring in your uh, real life then uh, this transit and any other transit must be viewed uh, from the ascendant itself okay and along with this uh, you have to understand that this transit is the transit of saturn in uh, his mool trikon sign okay so in astrology we have uh, own sign so um, own sign is like the sign which is ruled by a particular planet himself and aquarius is the mool trikon sign which is you know even better mool trikon is uh, can also be a sign which the planet himself rules sometimes okay and then there is exaltation of course so this transit of saturn in aquarius is the second best transit okay so after exaltation we have multicon so therefore we know what aquarius is aquarius is you know new age technology aquarius is the sense of collectivism sense of community sense of togetherness sense of belonging sense of uh, making a change uh, in my life and in the life of everybody else and making a change in the life of the entire universe basically right so therefore uh, this transit is a very important transit uh, because this transit uh, will will and can gear off many things like you know uh, for example um, uh, things which people want to um, see at a large scale okay uh, things like you know electric vehicles renewable energy so many things which are going on uh, cryptocurrencies you know anything and everything which can change the world uh, and make the world a better place day by day okay so therefore uh, this transit is a time for everybody to think and ponder what are some of the changes that we can bring into our life and also in the life of everybody else all right so let us go into aries ascendance so what about aries what's going on with aries so for aries this transit is happening in your 11th house so saturn in your case is the lord of the 10th house he's also the lord of the 11th and he's going to aspect your first house 
which is your lagna your ascendant your rising sign and then he's going to aspect your fifth house which is also a trikona right and he's also going to aspect the eighth house so what is the eighth house eighth house is the house of you know sudden occurrences in life and eighth house can also mean inheritance and so many other things but <clears throat> primarily the tenth lord is transiting your eleventh house right and who is himself the eleventh lord so this is a very amazing transit uh, to become an influencer why do i say influencer because um, influencer doesn't mean that you just have some you know a million uh, subscribers or you know a big fan following that's not exactly what an influencer is an influencer can have uh, one follower also or 10 followers or 100 followers also but uh, he or she is one who can make a positive change in this world right so the 11th house is known as the Labhasthan. It is known as the uh, Ichha Purti, okay, which means fulfillment of desires, right? So, any desire that you have gets fulfilled, depending on your horoscope and your dashas, of course, our conditions apply. But, as I said in the intro part, if there is something which you feel that you uh, can contribute uh, to the society, then this is a very good time maybe to put yourself out in the open, right? maybe if you have something to share you could start a channel in youtube or you know page in instagram or anything like that or it could be anything like uh, something to do with finance or spirituality or you know health fitness the world in general anything it can be and because saturn aspects your uh, fifth house therefore uh, the 11th and the 5th both are houses of children basically okay uh, so therefore there is a possibility that uh, you could have birth of a child right new child uh, if you are married or you could also adopt right uh, depending on your horoscope so childbirth is something which is always associated with the fifth and the eleventh because the fifth house is the core house of children and the eleventh house is the house of fulfillment of desire right so therefore uh, apart from this the eleventh house is also known as kalpa Briksh, which is fulfillment of desire so as I have said repeatedly, um, this uh, transit is the time for you, uh, like two and a half years, right? So this transit is the time where you try to fulfill your desires, okay? So desires doesn't have to be necessarily materialistic or uh, financial desires. It can be anything, you know, if you are in a, a relationship and you want to get married, uh, then that's a very good time or you want to go into the stock market then also it's a very good time and if you uh, are married you want to have kids then also it's a very good time so or as i said you know you want to uh, become an influencer and put yourself out in the open right so 11th house represents overall success so there is no one area which uh, indicates you know you will all only be successful in this area right so it can be anything but if but if it's the 10th lot then it's like uh, your profession right your name fame power position status authority right so it's like uh, sky is the limit okay and because the fifth and the eighth houses are also receiving the aspect so it can also uh, mean uh, the stock market okay so uh, make sure you do not uh, invest in super risky assets but yeah uh, if you can take calculated risks then yeah maybe this is a good time to sit and do it in consultation with your um, financial advisor of course okay and also there is a possibility because the fifth house is the house of creativity so you could have a creative income right so if you want to sing then maybe uh, you could start a channel in YouTube and start seeing, you know, who knows, somebody might uh, give you a contract to sing, right? It can be singing, painting, dancing, anything it can be, right? Or it could also be astrology because astrology is also the 8th house, right? So therefore, uh, try and put your, uh, try uh, to bring your life in order and uh, try to see every area of life because the ascendant also receives the aspect of Saturn. So that shows if you try and focus then things will definitely materialize so it's a great time for you all aries so congratulations and wish you all the best so now let's move to the next sign to the sign of taurus okay so what's going on with taurus here so for taurus this transit is happening in your 10th house saturn is the lord of the 9th house and your 10th house also he is the 10th lord transiting the 10th house and from there, he aspects your fourth house, 
the seventh house and also your twelfth house so this transit of taurus of set uh, i mean for taurus uh, in the tenth house is a very interesting transit because for taurus uh, saturn is not an ordinary planet he is known as the yoga karaka right yoga karaka is a planet which rules a trine and a angular house a kendra and a trikona simultaneously so you know the 10th house is a kendra house right uh, angular house and the ninth house is a trikona it's a trinal house so saturn rules a kendra and a trikona simultaneously so therefore he qualifies to be a yoga karaka just like in the case of a libra ascendant also so in your case the yoga karaka is transiting in the 10th house right so it's like the ninth lord transiting in the 10th house so this is a very special uh, condition in astrology which is known as uh, dharma karmadipati yoga right so whenever the ninth house and the 10th house are somehow linked then uh, there's a very powerful yoga which is formed right which is known as dharma karmadipati yoga what does this mean does it mean you will do something religious because the word dharma is involved well not exactly not necessarily always dharma karmadipati yoga means uh, you do something which is in line with your own dharma okay so in uh, in line with your dharma means uh, anything which is very true to your nature okay so maybe you are a football player right so then you can uh, play football and you can uh, gain recognition because 10th house is the house of recognition okay so you you could be a painter right so you might also make paintings and uh, you might you know leave your job for example and become a full time painter right so all these things can happen when dharma karma dipati yoga uh, occurs right so essentially it means you do something which is so true to yourself it's like you know the dharma of uh, sugar is to be sweet as uh, the vedic scriptures uh, say so therefore try and find out what is the true essence within you and try to do something in that domain right that is how you will get success because the 10th house is the house of success okay so there could be a legacy that you leave right and then because the 12th house and the 4th house are involved so there could also be some luxury purchases right because 4th house shows your um, property your vehicles you know your clothes and everything is under the 4th house so uh, because the 12th house shows expenses so you could go and buy some luxury vehicle or luxury property or something like that right and the 10th house also is the house of dominance which means uh, a planet in the 10th house dominates the chart right because it's a very powerful house so it's where the sun gets digbali it's like where the sun gets directional strength so the 10th house is the most important of all the kendra houses right and then uh, if you are into business because the 7th house also receives the aspect so it could happen that you know you are uh going to do some new acquisitions right uh you could also do some mergers depending on your business profile of course and uh, therefore uh, because the 7th house and the 10th house are uh, associated with this transit for taurus so you could also act as a king maker because the 7th house uh deals with negotiations right so uh, therefore it could happen that you know you 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 become like a king maker you know when you can um help two parties you know settle big disputes right so therefore you can also see that the 7th house is uh, known as uh, vriddhi which is expansion right and the 10th house is known as siddhi right so uh, if there is a yoga with the 7th house it is known as vriddhi yoga and if there is a yoga with the 10th house it's known as siddhi yoga or siddha yoga okay so vriddhi means expansion siddhi siddhi or siddha means uh, success uh, overall success okay so therefore uh, this is a very interesting transit because now you have vriddhi and siddhi together so you can be successful in your business in your profession and also because the 9th house and the 12th house are associated so you could also have international fame right so therefore do not waste time during this transit put all your career plans into action and you will have all on success okay congratulations taurus Now let us move to the next sign which is the sign of cancer no nope, gemini <laughs> so let's go to gemini what's going on with gemini right so for gemini this transit is happening in your 9th house the most powerful of all trikonas right 
and it is the eighth lord and the ninth lord itself and from the ninth house it aspects um, the third house and um, it will also aspect the sixth house and it will also aspect your 11th house right so there you can see the photo this is the photo of none other than lord sri ramachandra right so what is the ninth house the ninth house is the house of god it's the house of guru it's the house of religion spirituality higher education knowledge divinity transformation um, and it's also the house where you get enlightenment right or is the house where you get elevation basically right uh, of course transformation is primarily the eighth house but ninth house represents that transformation which ultimately benefits you right because every transformation may not benefit you necessarily right but if there is a transformation associated with the ninth house you are sure to be benefited from it okay so now for you gemini this transit is happening in your ninth house which means uh, it's like you know god's power is there with you now you can go and achieve any desire that you have because this um, saturn also aspects your 11th house therefore 11th house is also the fulfillment of desires right so if you have any plans any desires or uh, to get some knowledge from somewhere it does not have to be spiritual knowledge necessarily it can also be some uh, some mundane knowledge okay so maybe there is some requirement of skill which uh, now uh, you might be looking for okay uh, within your profession to change your profession or to upgrade yourself in the profession so then now is the time you go and get that skill okay so always be in contact with your guru your guide your mentor your counselor or your astrologer or your advisor anybody right financial advisor or anybody and then you could also uh do some publications uh, in ieee and you know these big organizations because 9th house also shows uh, international languages and international organizations so apart from this the third house also receives the aspect of saturn so it is possible that you can do one of the two things because third house shows that which you teach and 9th house shows that which you uh, learn from others okay so e learning is very much uh, possible uh, because the third house also uh, if related to technology then it can show you know e learning and all this so so basically now is the time you be like a river basically okay so the river uh, is uh, why do i say river because the ninth house shows what you get so you get knowledge and the third house shows what you give so you get and you give okay so you try to get get knowledge and give knowledge to others okay then because the third house is linked to the sixth house uh, so consulting could also be there on cards so this could be you know business consulting or any kind of consulting uh, eighth house can also show you know ayurveda astrology and all these so apart from this because the third house is linked with the 11th house so therefore uh, it can also show that uh, you are having a change of residence you are going to develop countries and the third house specifically shows you know permits right like the visa pr citizenship and the ninth house shows government so whenever the third house is linked with the ninth house it shows some government related permits you know big permits like visa pr citizenship so and because the 11th house is also associ associated which is you know the house of fulfillment of desire so you could very well be getting a visa depending on your horoscope of course and your dashas and uh, if you already have a visa then you might if you have stayed in a country for some time you know and you have fulfilled the uh, requirements you might get a pr and if you already have a pr you might also get citizenship okay of any developed country for example um of course uh, these things have to be uh, seen in context of your horoscope and also ninth house shows languages as i said so you could also learn a foreign language or maybe you you should learn okay because that might help you uh, you know uh, during any interview process you know or getting a job in a country which has a different language of, of course so explore and get knowledge and give knowledge all right thank you gemini so now is the time we move to cancer so for cancer what's going on uh, cancer has this transit in the 8th house and saturn is the lord of the 7th house along with your 8th house is also your 8th lord 
and there he aspects the second house fifth house and the tenth house right from the eighth house so what is the eighth house the eighth house represents anything to do with other people basically okay it can show other people's money it can show debt it can show in-laws right debt in the sense it can show good debt and bad debt okay so if you are taking loan from the government you know to buy rental properties for example not for yourself but for others right so then you are using leverage so eighth house shows leverage which is a very important term in real estate but be careful uh, you might also uh, end up taking loans for yourself like you know to buy liabilities like you know uh, and just to waste money in luxuries right so do not do that try to if at all you are taking debt then try to take good debt okay and also uh, as i said the eighth house shows in-laws so the in-laws uh, why do i say in-laws because the seventh lord is transiting the eighth house okay so the seventh house is the house of marriage so uh, whenever the seventh house is associated with the eighth house then it definitely shows you know other people related to your marriage which is your in-laws of course and of course uh, the eighth house can show unearned money which is you know like inheritance or um, any like you know any, any money which you get during retirement or something like that so therefore uh, if you get some inheritance then uh, make sure you use it properly and you do proper asset allocation for that right because the second house uh, shows your combined assets your net worth and your 10th house also shows professional earning that you have right your status in society so apart from this as i said you might be tempted to take on you know bad debt and buy liabilities you know and then you might have a tough time uh, paying those emis later on so be very careful before you take any uh, unnecessary uh, you know uh, emi uh, for example okay mortgage apart from this the seventh house is associated with the 10th so this is a very good time to do some collaboration so if you are um, into business then maybe it's great to collaborate with somebody who is also doing something similar right by that you can expand and you can grow because seventh house shows growth and tenth house also shows growth okay so therefore it's a very interesting time to combine things okay or to venture into new domains new territories okay expand your business apart from this as the photo obviously suggests uh, you could also go into the stock market because the stock market is seen from the fifth house and the eighth house and the tenth house and the eleventh house so all the three houses uh, which indicate uh, stock market speculation and all this is indicated uh, therefore um, it is imperative that you uh, make calculated investments uh, you take risks but uh, make sure that's calculated and you only invest uh, you do not invest more than what you can lose right so apart from this the eighth house and the fifth house can also show creativity and it can also show uh anything which is very deep down within yourself okay and now because the 10th house is associated so it can also mean that you are having some creative income for example also the second house is linked which is also the house of money so there could be creative income okay so therefore this is a time where you understand that now i can put my creativity into work and i could you know uh, turn my passion also into profession not necessarily always but yeah i could try or maybe that could be a side income okay and also there could be unexpected offers because eighth house shows you know unexpected gains also if linked with the tenth house so therefore keep your eyes open uh try to harness good opportunities and who knows you might have some unexpected offers anytime so uh keep yourself in check and by that you will obtain success all right so thank you cancer and now is the time we go to the next ascendant which is leo so for leo it's pretty obvious this transit is happening in your seventh house uh, although there are many uh, caveats to this uh, he saturn is your sixth lord and your seventh lord transiting in the seventh house right from there he aspects your lagna he aspects your fourth house and your ninth house right so the first fourth and ninth are receiving the aspect of saturn so now 
what is the seventh house? The seventh house generally can show marriage. It can also show business partnerships, right? So what does it show in this case? Well, it can show both because uh, the seventh house is anything where you expand, right? And whenever it is linked with the money houses, which are the money houses, the second, sixth and tenth, it can definitely show uh, expansion in business also, okay? So therefore, if you are in a relationship and uh, you uh, wish to get married with that person, then now is the perfect time to do that. Okay. And also it shows business partnerships. Uh, so therefore, uh, maybe it could happen that you are wanting to start a, a new startup, you know, for yourself. But maybe, you know, you are not sound in a particular area. Maybe you know the core, but you don't know technology or you don't know finances. Okay. Or you don't know marketing. Right. So you might try to find a business partner who uh, who complements you and uh, fulfills your deficiencies, which can take the business uh, to the next level. Okay, and then Saturn also aspects your first house, which is the ascendant. So it can very well show that you are uh, wanting to uh, get into the fitness industry. Okay not like uh, becoming a fitness uh, instructor yeah that could also happen or at least you focus on your own fitness okay and then it can also show that there is a change of residence why do i say this because saturn is aspecting the fourth house and the ninth house okay so the fourth house is your original residence and ninth house now uh, can sometimes show uh, distant places okay not not foreign countries but you know within your country different places okay so therefore there could be a change of residence because of your marriage or your profession one of the two could uh, come into place because uh, depending on your horoscope of course but because the sixth lord is showing profession and seventh lord shows marriage so i would leave the window open for both the scenarios and also seventh house can show multiplicity right which means you expand right uh, by having business partnerships or um, you could also do some collaborations if you have um, a youtube channel for example you could do collaborations or if you are into it you might you know learn new technologies for example right um, and along with this uh, you could also transition from uh having a job to freelancing or you know becoming a full-time business owner right so generally it's not recommended to leave your job and start your business full-time not for everybody of course uh, so it's recommended that you have your job and you start doing some freelancing and then when you have the confidence and when you understand the market then you become a business owner full time of course and this is like a general recommendation for most people of course there are exceptions to this rule apart from this you can also have higher education why why do i say that because the fourth house shows education and the ninth house when related with the fourth house can show higher education okay because the ninth house shows anything which you learn uh, from god or from your guru or from your seniors right so could show your professor or your guide or anybody like that so basically this transit for leos uh, is one word expansion okay so multiply yourself expand yourself go into new territories meet new people interact and formalize uh, deals negotiations contracts and by that you will have grand success all right so thank you leos and now is the time we move on to virgos so what's going on with virgo so for virgo this transit is in your sixth house and saturn is the lord of your fifth house he's also the lord of your sixth house he's aspecting the third the eighth and the twelfth very important houses now what is the sixth house the sixth house can show your dream job right uh, so therefore if you are unemployed if you are a student maybe it's a great time to do an internship now okay and if you're already an intern then it might be a good time to request uh, the company for giving you a full-time contract right and if you already have a job it might be a great time to uh, get promoted or uh, search a new job within your company or maybe outside okay outside your company 
so therefore um, this transit represents um, focusing on your daily day-to-day -day activities because sixth house shows you know routine repetitive work okay and along with this uh, it can also show some you know side hustle why do i say this because um, the fifth house can show things which you do not do in a consistent manner okay in context of profession because it's the 12th from the sixth house but it can show things which you do out of your own interest you know do you do in the weekends or on fridays you know, or once or twice a week for example so because the fifth lord is transiting the sixth so therefore it's very well possible that you can of course uh, have a side hustle and also because the 12th house is associated so therefore it can mean that there are some expenses in accounts of your business right so there could be some business expenses okay and also the fifth house shows your inner desire and when that lord of the fifth is transiting in the sixth it can show that uh, you are uh, you trust yourself when it comes to your skills okay so therefore it could very well mean that uh, you get you start a new freelancing okay you can uh, or somebody might approach you and give you a freelancing contract or opportunity and along with this because the third house and the 12th house shows foreign land so there could also be an on-site opportunity which you get you know, for a big company abroad maybe and this can uh, also be a part of that dream job which i already spoke about or it could be something unexpected also because the eighth house is involved okay so you might not be expecting but your uh, manager might uh, recommend you for doing uh, going there okay so uh, please take the opportunity if uh, you are given immediately and along with this because uh, the third house receives the aspect of saturn so it could very well be possible that you are into technology you are into it or into you know the web web development or within it or outside also you know you could be into marketing advertising and all this so therefore the third house and the fifth house can also show you know a career in sales okay so if you are planning to go into sales you know and uh, try something or if you are uh, planning to sell something like your property or your vehicle or anything or maybe your your laptop for example then now is a good time you might try to sell it okay because uh, the sixth house can show income so it can show that you are gaining something out of selling something okay so therefore now is the time that you um, do some freelancing uh, look for other opportunities abroad uh, and also uh, because the fifth house and the eighth house and the twelfth house shows creativity so now the sixth house can bless you with some creative income okay so you are all you you could be doing freelancing uh, as a technical specialist like within your domain uh, but apart from this you could also do freelancing in some creative work okay like one of my friend he has just uh, he's planning to start you know uh, like uh, he's a very good painter so he's planning to uh, start selling his paintings okay uh, so it is very well possible uh, not necessarily painting it can be anything right so therefore try to uh, find and explore what creative interests you have and how can you earn uh, some money out of it okay so if you can figure that out i'm very sure you will uh, have multiple streams of income multiple sources of income and you could also write a book and publish your ideas right you know because the third house can also show books so essentially the sixth house shows earning okay so any anything and by any means through which you can earn more this is the time that you explore those opportunities okay so thank you virgos now is the time we move on to the next which is libra ascendance so for libra this transit is happening in your fifth house and saturn is the fourth lord he's your fifth lord also and from the fifth he aspects the second the seventh and the eleventh houses right so as i said for taurus and for libra saturn is a very special planet because he's a yoga karaka because he simultaneously rules a kendra house and a trikona house okay so fourth house is a kendra and a fifth house is a trikona basically so saturn is a yoga karaka for libra and therefore 
this transit of the yoga karaka in the fifth house which is another uh, trikona as you are seeing uh, in this picture is going to be very beneficial for you depending on your dashas of course and your original birth chart but uh, the transit of saturn in the fifth house can um, encourage you to have children right if you are married and um, it can also encourage you to expand your family right or to get somebody within your family married okay because from the fifth he always aspects the second which is the house of family seventh house is marriage and the eleventh house is fulfillment of desire right so if there's somebody in your family who is looking to get married then maybe now it's a good time to uh, try and uh, help uh, find somebody for them right and then uh, see if uh, they can like each other and then they can get married uh, or if you are already uh, married yourself then you you are doing further family planning and having a child then now it's the perfect time uh, but there are many other important aspects to this transit okay so for example one of them is higher education why do i say higher education because uh, the fifth house is the primary house of gyan knowledge okay uh, the fourth house shows you know uh, education which you get in the school and uh, like uh, some something traditional but the fifth house can show intelligence right what you gain out of the uh, information that you have you know it's like knowledge or wisdom you could say right so um, ultimately you could do some specialization move into higher education like do a master's or a phd all these things could be there on cards uh, depending on what is indicated in your mahadasha and antardasha and as i said because this aspects uh, the seventh house so if you already are in a relationship it's also a great time to uh, convert that into marriage uh, and also there could be some creative side hustle that you start doing because the fifth house can show creativity and the second house can show income and the 11th house can show fulfillment of desires okay but the thing is the fourth house is also associated here okay so this creative side hustle that you could do uh, will require some skill okay so it won't be uh, i mean it could be but it may not be necessarily something which you just uh, do rarely sometimes okay it shows something which you are really convinced which you are very good at and you can do it regularly okay because the fourth house shows skills which you uh, are very good at okay so if there is something apart from your job which you feel you are very good at then maybe it's a very good time to uh, make a business out of it okay and of course uh, the seventh house also shows expansion okay so it's like vriddhi so there could be expansion so it's like you know child but so your family has expanded right or somebody else get, getting married in your family or family has again expanded and it can show expansion within your business also or you know you could go from one creative income to another like two three creative incomes right because of the fourth and the fifth and the 11th house and the fifth house they are also houses of promotion because the fifth house is the eighth from the 10th house which can show a new job change of job okay so there could be a promotion and uh, there could be like big success okay depending on your dasha of course and also uh, because the second fifth and eleventh these are houses of uh, humans basically humans in the sense other people community family so therefore uh, it could be a very good time for you to join a community okay so if you are into it and you are doing programming then maybe you know you join some programming community or you are into finance so then try to join some finance community now online also it's possible or if you are into fitness you know rather than just going to the gym or yoga center try to uh, uh, yeah i mean have a mentor and you know, expert who can help you and uh, also you could gain knowledge from others also right and also you could at the end join a spiritual community so basically for libra now is the time that you strengthen your human connections and thereby you uh, 
also grow professionally and uh, personally also okay thank you very much wish you all the best now we go to scorpio lagna scorpio ascendance so what's going on for a scorpio so for scorpio this transit is happening in your fourth house it's happening uh in the house of house <laughs> because the fourth house represents your house your home now it represents uh, real estate in general uh, it represents uh, anything that is very stable right because the fourth house also shows land okay so uh, the lordship of saturn for scorpio is the third and the fourth okay so of course you might look for your dream house online and maybe it's a very good time to uh, purchase your house apart from this you can also do you know licensing and you could be working as a contractor you could you know help in making deals property deals negotiations or you could also uh, help in uh, areas of medicine right why do i say medicine because the first house and the sixth house can show medicine okay uh, not not literally medicine but uh, it can show diseases so it's like you know you are helping those who are having diseases right so therefore you could venture into uh, the medicine medical sector uh, could be medicine or it could be ayurveda or it could be you know homeopathy allop allopathy anything but generally saturn shows ayurveda but i would not limit it just to ayurveda you could also uh, explore other territories okay and also because the fourth house can show vehicle so you could also uh, purchase a vehicle if venus is associated during this dasha in your horoscope and apart from this the third house is linked so it very well tells me that you could also uh, go into you know car dealership and yeah you could get commission and you could uh, have a side income from that right just like real estate for example apart from this the fourth house can show skill and the third house is something uh, which is like a culmination of your entire skill set okay so the third house shows that which is at the background of your mind so therefore it's a very interesting time for you to expand your skill set right learn new technologies learn new things learn about new Uh, ventures new avenues you know expand yourself basically and also the 10th house is receiving the aspect of saturn which means you could have authority position within your uh, organization right or you might move into a new organization because the third house can also show change okay so therefore you could make that change which you wish and always remember that the fourth house and the third house uh, when they are combined it always shows something which you have to bring it out in the open okay so this can also show that you write a book you present your ideas outside and you gain fan following through that and through that you might you know start doing your own business or uh, the sixth house and tenth house also show finances right so it's very well possible you become very interested in finances you know in your savings your expenses and try to track uh, how much money do you spend and uh, how try and see how can you expand your sources of income okay because many times i talk to people and they say you know we don't have any money and then i'm like okay your is your problem with income or with uh, savings right and most of them end up saying it's savings right so try to save more money invest it in uh, good assets and try to also diversify your portfolio and uh, expand into other territories uh, other zones by which you can increase your income sources okay so all the best to scorpio now we go into sagittarius so for sagittarius this transit is happening in your third house and saturn lord your second the third obviously and he aspects the fifth ninth and the 12th so the third house shows uh, information technology the third house can show marketing the third house can show advertising okay 
third house can show writing the third house can show publishing okay so these are different things which you could do the third house can also show learning tutoring okay i, I mean not learning sorry it can show teaching but here it can also show learning because the fifth and the ninth are associated with it okay so therefore third house can also show your brand basically right it can show how people know you in social media okay so if you have any plans if you have an idea maybe it's a great time to make a website or make a logo and you know publish it and then try to uh, sell your product basically right so it can show it so it can show that if you have a store for example you know it has nothing to do with it then maybe you could make a website and try to take it online right because um, and also you could be very much interested in it and new technologies now um, and also it could happen that you are already into uh, it and you learn new technologies within the it sphere also okay and also because the ninth house and the twelfth house are associated so it could happen that you get an on-site opportunity abroad okay and apart from this as i said uh, learning is definitely on cards learning and teaching both so you could develop a e-learning platform where you could you know uh, make online courses and sell them and uh, have great income basically and also you could do consulting uh, consulting like business consulting management consulting or any consulting related to marketing because uh, sales is seen from the third house and the fifth house and because uh, from the third saturn aspects the fifth house so it's very well possible that you might do very good in sales okay so therefore uh, now is the time if you are uh, planning to change your domain uh, into sales maybe it's a great time for you to do that and also if you are planning to sell something within your own uh, home that could be a good time you know maybe to sell it somewhere or maybe you could sell your ha home if you want to your house or your vehicle right if required so any kind of sales and advertising that is also going to be profitable for you and also uh, the ninth house can show research right and the third house can show publishing so you could publish a research paper you know journal papers and all this and also because the second house and the twelfth house is linked so it can show that uh, you are now very much interested in tracking your finances okay where am i losing money where where is my expenditure increasing right so maybe you can try to download some app where through which you can track your own money right um, and then you can see uh, simultaneously how can you expand your income basically okay through social media through it through e-learning through consulting so by that you expand your earning and you reduce your expenses and then by that ultimately you end up saving more money right and then you further invest it so the third house and fifth house can also show uh, things related to your passion okay so during this time you might have this confusion within you oh i have this passion within me and i have this profession right i love this passion i love this work that i want to do but then i do not like my profession very much so what should i do should i stay in my profession or should i make my passion into profession right well that depends on your situation and your horoscope but in general it is recommended that you try to do some freelancing with your passion and then as you see there are more opportunities uh, you finally try to uh, see if you can make it into a full-time profession okay so overall for sagittarius this transit is the time to explore new opportunities and uh, try to see if you can learn new things and uh, give knowledge to others because third house is primarily the house where you give knowledge okay so showcase yourself showcase your talents uh, not that you do show off <laughs> okay just showcase show others what you can offer how can you make life better for others and then you will get rewarded okay so thank you sagittarius now let us move to the sign capricorn so Capricorn, very special ascendant for this transit because Saturn is none other than your Lagna Lord. He is the Lord of your ascendant. He is the Lord of Capricorn. So, as I am making this video, he is in Capricorn now. And by 
29th of April, he will move into Aquarius. So, as you are seeing this video, Saturn is still in Capricorn. Okay. Uh, uh, today is uh, 15th April. So, in another two weeks, your Lagna Lord is moving from your Lagna to the next house, which is the second house. And from there, he is going to aspect the fourth house. He is going to aspect the eighth house. And he's also going to aspect the 11th house. And he's also the lord of your second house, right? So what is the second house? Um, second house can show anything related to your family, right? It can show marriage. So if you are in a relationship and you like to uh, make a further commitment for the rest of your life, then it's a very good time to get married. Then if you're already married, then it can show that you might be enthusiastic to have children so it's a great time for childbirth or suppose you already have children and you do not want to have other children then maybe it's a good time you focus on your children right um, because nowadays in the 21st century most of the people are only focusing on their careers wealth finance name fame power position and then uh, sometimes uh, we might feel a bit lonely, right? Even in spite of having all these achievements, if we do not have the right people within uh, our circle to celebrate it with, right? Now, of course, second house does not only mean uh, the family with uh, whom you are born, but it can show your friends or relatives, anybody who you consider to be like your family, okay? Uh, not necessarily friends, but in this case it can because it still aspects the 11th house of friends, okay? And the 8th house can show inheritance. So, the four, the uh, second house and the 8th house when linked, it can definitely show inheritance, okay? So, it could be possible that um, you might, uh, you, you might uh, get some inheritance or you might give... Uh, uh, something to your children or maybe you know to charity or to some trust basically uh, you you are trying to see what is the future of your wealth and your assets right so you could either be on the giving end or in the receiving end okay either ways and along with that the second house is the house of accumulation collection okay so maybe it's a good time to do data collection. So if you have a business and uh, you, 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 are, you, you feel that my business is good, but it's not expanding, it's not growing to uh, the extent that I want or to the extent that I wished or I expected. And then uh, maybe it's a great time for you to see and try to analyze the data you collect uh, your sales data or anything which helps you to do further data analysis and by that you uh, make some uh, assumption or some estimation about how could your future be really right so the second house is the core house of finances uh, anything to do with money numbers accounting calculation all this so, so uh, therefore you could always uh, go for an MBA finance uh, or you could also do masters in finance okay so you could learn more about finances you could learn more about uh, wealth you know you could focus on networking because the 11th house is the house of networking and uh, the second house is your net worth right because that's why they say your network is your net worth so therefore uh, you could try and expand your network, try to go into e events, try to go into groups and try to network with people, not just for the sake of networking, but uh, by being a genuine well-wisher and also desiring to learn from others, okay? And uh, the fourth house is also involved. So there, that shows, you know, you are doing it out of with knowledge. So there could be some portfolio diversification, which you might do. Um, which could help you to diversify your assets uh, which is indicated by the second house and of course uh, because the first house is also um, uh, involved in this in the lagna so this is something very important for you all right so for capricorn now saturn moves to your second house try to get a hold of your finances and your family and your connections okay so make new connections and expand yourself all right Thank you Capricorn and now we move into Aquarius.
so what about aquarius yes 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 now is the time your lagna lord is returning to your ascendant so for aquarius this transit is in your first house so in your lagna your lagna is your head your intelligence your outlook of life okay so now is a time when your lagna lord is returning to your lagna so what does this mean this means it's like saying you are finding yourself once again right so you are like the king basically okay so from the lagna he aspects your 10th house he aspects your 7th and the 3rd and he's also the lord of your 12th house right now because capricorn is in your 12th house for aquarius lagna so the the first house is the house uh, of power basically it's the house of politics political gain political personality so if you have any plans to get into politics maybe it could be a good time right uh, and also uh, from the first it aspects your seventh house right so seventh house is the house of expansion basically right it's the house of vriddhi basically so if you want to get married maybe uh, this could be a good time you might look for a uh, potential partner or if you are already in a relationship maybe it's a good time to make that commitment for marriage and also saturn in general can show people uh, who are a bit vulnerable so you know so it could be important now in your life that you try and get the support of your subordinates okay so rather than trying to be this uh, big boss and trying to exert your authority onto people which is anyways not good uh, you should try to be humble and try to get the support of your subordinates okay because the subordinates can really help you because saturn represents subordinates basically and you could also help you know people who are a part of the you know the vulnerable sections of the society right like <clears throat> now anybody who is in need right so along with this it's a great time for you to focus on your health because as the famous saying goes you know health is wealth so therefore uh, now is the time that you have a schedule for exercise you know for doing yoga for going to the gym <clears throat> and for expanding your opportunities uh, in the domain of health you could also go into health sector right um, and along with this there could be a change of status because saturn aspects your 10th house so you might get that you know new big job that new opportunity and there could also be international fame why because the 12th house and the third house are associated with the 10th house so the third and the 12th can show uh international avenues and the 10th house can show fame so this very well means you could have you know international fame and also because the 12th lord is coming to your ascendant so it can mean that there are some expenses in accounts of your business you know some good expenditure which helps you to expand your business okay so there could be some business expenses or you could if you are a businessman you know you might want to expand and you know hire new people uh, make things bigger basically okay so essentially uh, for aquarius this transit is in your first house which is you know your overall life so it's very difficult to uh, qualify and quantify this transit into specific areas but you got to understand that this is the time when you have an opportunity to get your life together so focus on every area of your life of course it's easier said than done you always have to prioritize things depending on the need but now is the time that you look and ponder each and every area of life your health your finances your marriage your relationships your <clears throat> your assets and then try to see where can i improve and what should i do to improve in, in that sector of life okay so once you do this then you prioritize <clears throat> according to your situation your age and your uh, requirements and then finally you will obtain grand success okay <clears throat> so congratulations aquarius your lagna lord is appearing uh, transiting in your lagna again and make the best use of this transit okay thank you aquarius so now is the time we move into pisces so what's going on with pisces pisces is 
the last ascendant of course for every presentation right <laughs> and this transit is happening in your 12th house um, and uh, for pisces saturn is your 11th lord he's also your 12th lord and from the 12th house he aspects your second house he aspects your sixth house and he aspects your ninth house right so this transit of saturn in your 12th house can give you divine experiences right spiritual experiences uh, going into ashrams you know going into pilgrimage going into sacred places going to holy places uh, trying to connect to your roots basically so you see this photo yes you see all the flowers and fruits maybe but this is connected to the roots right so you might do yoga meditation uh, you can chant mantras you can you know do uh, read the bhagavad gita read the srimad bhagavatam you could do all this to obtain divine experience experiences uh, try to meet your guru try to associate yourself with the spiritual community because the 11th lord which shows you know spiritual communities uh, provided linked with the 9th house which is in your case now uh, so therefore try to find a sense of belonging to some spiritual community and along with that now uh, saturn aspects the 6th house so now is the time that you focus on cultivating discipline in your life okay now is the time you try and see where is your time going right so whenever the transit of saturn is in the 12th house you got to understand that you need to figure out where you are losing in life okay losing not uh, financially necessarily but where are you losing time right maybe uh, you need to figure out if you are spending too much time in social media or you know maybe just talking to people during your work or maybe you know talking too much with your friends right so or maybe you are eating too much or maybe you know you are um, you are distracted during your work right or you are not focused basically so now is the time that you try to bring that back focus bring back that discipline which can take your life to the next level because nothing worthwhile can be achieved in any area of your life without discipline and now uh, this uh, transit of saturn could also be a great time to you know buy a term insurance policy for you right so this could also be a good <coughs> opportunity to do some masters abroad why do i say masters because the ninth house is linked and abroad because the 12th house is linked so you could get an opportunity abroad it could be uh, opportunity for higher education or it could also be an on site opportunity okay and along with that uh, it's a great time for uh, doing some asset management so it's like you know how much money do you have in the bank how much do you have in your fixed deposits how much have you invested in mutual funds you know stocks into real estate or how much commodities do you own like you know gold silver copper and all this or have you also invested into cryptocurrencies you know etfs and all this so the 11th house can show your asset allocation and the 12th house can show <coughs> your expenses and losses right so it would happen you know that uh, some of your assets you know some stocks that you purchase they are not doing very great now so maybe you might think uh, if you made right investments or maybe you could change them right or if there are some brokers in between for mutual funds for example you know you you may think uh, you may think twice now uh, or you may want to change your investments right so as i said so therefore the uh, 12th house shows your um, output basically right not output in the sense it's like your outflow okay so if you feel that in any area of life there is more um, outflow than the inflow right so what you what you are getting and what you are giving out is more right if there is an imbalance so try to balance it if you are uh, getting more than what you give then try to give more okay and if you are giving more than what you are getting then try to uh give uh, according to the reciprocation okay that you have received okay so therefore 
this is the time when you try and figure out where you are losing time where you are losing money and how can you uh, use this transit to uh, improve your finances and your health and your overall time because ultimately you can get back anything except time right uh, so therefore you got to understand this is the time when i need to see where i am losing time and then make the best decisions take help of your gurus guides and counselors and also try to join a spiritual community okay so wish you all the best pisces